Bob, you came here and spoke with... Where do you want me? Right here. You spoke here with Yishai Fleischer. Yeah. And uh, you and I went to the house of Harry Hamburger. Right. Uh, the word is that in 2012, Iran may have enriched uranium nuclear grade, weapons grade uh, uranium. Right. Um, and by the way, why wouldn't they want Obama re-elected since he's allowing them to make nukes? What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, nukes they will use. Not just against Israel, but against America, after all. We the worldwide caliphate. Yeah. They want a worldwide caliphate. Yeah, but don't forget... Alu Akbar. He's, yes, he's doing a fabulous job. I'm trying to figure out what fabulous job he's doing. Oh, I'll take that cake. Okay. I'll take that cake. Yeah, Bob, um, what so about Defend Jerusalem and Shalom International on the 27th? December. What's so glad you should show up. We'll be out there with our banners and our flags and our posters. Federal we'll building, downtown. Federal Fort building, Fort Lauderdale, at 5 o'clock. We have to take a stand. Three years ago, the 300 Muslims screamed Jews into the ovens. We, who are not willing to put up with this crap, have to stand up and be counted and be there every single week, which we are. We've done now uh, 491 rallies and events in the last four years and over 1,600 news interviews and millions of people around the world have uh, found out that we are not here to abandon Israel but to offer solutions if we really want peace, which is you uh, don't have to take uh, the Jewish faith and tear up our covenant with God for 5,000 years and say that we have to give up Jerusalem, which has been Jewish for 3,000 years, and give it to the very people dancing in the streets after 9-11 that were aligned with Hitler in the Holocaust, and now want to monishad with Iran to finish the job with their news. Ahmadinejad, what a maniac! Uh, beyond maniac, the point is the guy is extremely dangerous. And for anyone not to recognize it means we're repeating the history from the very same Jews who said previously, "Oh, Hitler's no problem." And by the way, they're all supporting democracy, right? The Germans voted in Hitler. Mm -hmm. That's democracy. Only last week. Scary. Uh, Democracy doesn't necessarily mean good outcomes. Well, it means a vote. It doesn't mean good outcomes. As well. Sharia law. Okay. Last week, what were they doing? They demonstrated uh, for Hamas getting in by election. Mm. Okay. So what's the point? The yeah. point that we're saying is just because having an election doesn't mean they're going to be on our side. No more is. money for Abbas and Fatah. Why not? Why are we giving them support, which is, by the way, violation of U.S. law? Why are we giving the U.S. Embassy into Billions of dollars. Crazy. Okay. And all we're doing is allowing the maniacs to take over, who, by the way, will control the oil in the world and the world's economy. And our, we're paying already double on oil and gas, yeah. but we paid when, before Obama got in there. Where's I mean, that Haganah mentality? Where's that uh, Irgun mentality? Why wasn't Arafat snuffed out? Why didn't somebody go in and kill that filthy, mangy bastard? Well, the point is that uh, since before the Holocaust, the U.S. State Department has been there without oh, oil, the Muslim God. oil, and the Jews don't have oil. So what can I tell you? On the other hand, the other half of the foot here is that Israel has the worst propaganda in the history of the universe, okay? Yeah. Since they invented everything that has to do with the cell phone and PCs, how about telling your side of the story for 5,000 years what's going on? Camera. What's your identity? To make a statement. I'll Let us know what's going on. For you for camera. But the very people here that are supporting Obama are the very ones that have been in charge of the so-called peace process. Yeah, Pollard's a traitor. Yeah. Pollard should be in jail for life. Right. And for 30 years we've been listening to this garbage, which is give up everything Jewish, give up your identity, give up your covenant, give up everything, and somehow know that the Arabs are going to like us. Yeah. These are the same Arabs aligned with Hitler in the Holocaust. They cowardly deny a lot of money oh, with a random thing. Let what him are we kill the cops. Let him persecute the women and the Christians. Yeah. And, and by the way, has Obama said anything about that? In the Quran it says, kill all infidels. So we're talking about Jews, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, anybody they consider to be an infidel. Well, and by the way, where's Obama on any of it? It's in, well, unbelievable what's going on. And the liberal Jews don't open up their mouth about these attacks on women, attacks on gays, attacks on anybody from the Muslims, 20,000 attacks since 9-11, and the but, liberal but Jews here Bob, are going to vote for Obama you, again. Can you believe you, this madness? How do you explain that the New York Times editors have been Jewish, and yet the New York Times is like Time Magazine, BBC, You've heard of National Public Radio. Excuse me, you heard of Uterans? 
Ooh, union rights, that's a good yeah. one. Well, look, rats. this comes back from the Holocaust, that the Jews were willing to pull it in and push their very fellow Jews into the gas chambers, they were called union rights. Uh, we're facing the same crap today. They'd rather be themselves and build their careers going along with this bomb. Who is a better example than Wasserman Schultz? Well, what was your reaction when you read the Goldstone Report or heard about the Goldstone Report? Well, there's a classic example of a Jew selling out the rest of the Jews. Where was the condemnation by And by the way, he comes out about after the, the damage story. was done, yeah. okay, and, and says, oh, I made a oh, mistake. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. After the whole world condemned Israel. Yeah. On the other hand, where is Israel opening up its mouth and saying, we're not playing this game anymore? True. By the way, why does Israel have to belong to the United Nations that hates it? The Swiss don't belong to the United Nations, even though the, uh, the headquarters is in Geneva. Why doesn't Israel form its own United Nations? of people who like it. I mean, why do, you know there's an insanity going on. I'll just tell you, it was so reflective in the shul today. You know, we want everyone to accept us, but we don't accept ourselves. I know it. We want to be liked. We don't want to rock the boat. We want to be politically correct. We want to be timid enough right. so that we're liked. Okay, so like us. In any relationship, us. if you don't love yourself, us. nobody else is going to. So to play this stupid game over and over and over and over again, we're going to give everything up and the Arabs are going to kiss our behind because we're yeah. giving everything. No, they're out Ronnie and committed Lee. to destroy us. And if you don't open up your mouth, there'll be nothing left. Yeah, and I, the longer you wait, the worse it gets. And we've been saying this for years to the Jewish community, kept on laughing at us treating us as a worthy enemy, and the bottom line is it's worse than ever, more dangerous than ever, and if we don't open up our mouth really fast, we're going to lose the whole nine yards. I'm not just talking about Israel, I'm talking about America. Yeah. Bob, I'm going to loan you Ronnie Levy's book, Land for Peace, the Century Family. I got it. Give it back to me at the rally. It. I want everyone to go to... He's going to be the next Prime Minister of Israel, hopefully. Okay. Defend or Jerusalem. MK, at least. DefendJerusalem.net. Go there so you know how to reach us, and please donate so we can keep on battling out... Send them a hundred. Send them a hundred bucks. Whatever you want to send is perfectly okay. The question is, you can fight back. Don't keep your mouth shut. Be visible. Put a sticker on your car that says, Defend Jerusalem. Put the, uh, uh, the fight with America and Israel together on the same branch. That's not where we're at now with Obama. Obama is committed to Israel's destruction. And once he gets reelected, God forbid, we're finished. Well, I don't think, I think he'll be dumped. I really do. Uh, I'm not sure that. The problem is the Republicans don't know how to fight back. So, uh, the invented people, the Palestinians, what a surprise. Here we are in 2011. 2012 is here almost. The invented people, it's really taken place. I can't believe it.